this is Bug Pilot Dust. Thank you for joining me for episode 29 of my RimWorld Beach playthrough. And in yesterday's episode, in case you haven't watched it, we managed to get rid of another mech incursion up here. And we've got bugs, but we're going to kind of keep them around, I think, um, because why not? For some visitors. What I am going to do is double brick up this, uh, this wall over here, make it out of granite. Just so they're not going to punch through here anytime soon. Make sure there's two blocks here everywhere. Looks like frag grenades is finished. Outstanding. Now, the other thing I wanted to do over here was um, get a room or a corridor built here so we can throw grenades in or EMP to um, anybody who comes in here. Now, this has kind of messed things up a little bit because I was going to well, use this area to access, but um, it's okay. We can, we can improvise. It's not a problem. What I think we shall do, I'm going to map it out, is... Let me just do this, so... I'm going to have that little corridor coming along. And then we're going to have a room with a door, and then... Yeah, it's not ideal, is it? Because they're going to... That's going to be using that potentially as cover from this side, so that doesn't work. Hmm... I have to work out another way of doing this. I think a little sneaky corridor to come down around this side and then they can throw grenades from here. I think that probably works a little bit better. Uh, let me just uh, just get rid of this over here. And so I'm going to do a little corridor maybe coming down here. So they can throw grenades. The, the, the range of grenades, I don't actually know what they are. Let's have a quick look. So let's go to weapons and uh, grenades. And the range on the grenades is 12, so 12.9 squares. So if you're going to throw it here. Oh, okay. Let's say there. So the door needs to be here. So it doesn't even need to come out that far. That's good. Um, so let's get planning still. What are they mining? Oh, just that way. Okay, fine. Um, so that's the so the doors there. Then we got so they can come in, run up here, then run round, and then get to freedom. That works for me. Get rid of that. Don't need that to be there. So they actually come down this way. Yep, I like that. Let's let's get let's make that happen. So granite wall. there, block there, block there, just so they can duck and weave in case they're being chased, and we'll have uh, another granite wall there and a door there, that works. Mm, I think probably, yeah, so let's just cancel that. Not a fast opening, steel we're really short of. I think what we'll do is we'll prop the doors open. We'll make it granite doors. We'll make them propped open. And then we can get away quickly enough. Oops. Okay, cool. Right, so that granite wall's done. So we are kind of safe for now. Keen to get these picked up. Is anybody holding these? Oh, we are. That's good. I think, I think the donkeys are all over this. Yay, 75 in one go. Thanks, donkeys. You're amazing. Are you going to go for some hauling? I don't think boomlips do hauling, do, do they? No. Donkey foal. Ah, more, more minions. Because when they're little, they, they can't haul then, presumably. I'll train them to attack. Why not? Um, so who can haul the two older donkeys? Do donkey foal when it grows up. The bison's haul? I don't know. No, they don't. I'm going to train to guard. I can't hurt. Right. Lots and lots of suggestions um, over the 24 hours. Uh, yeah. What we're going to do. This was a good idea. We're going to make, basically, to clear up some space, loads and loads of Psychite tea. I think it was Chris Markmar who said we can fit 150 in one stack. So I think that's probably a good idea. Let's bang it up by 40. And pause at 20. Just to really kind of kick this on a little bit details 40 20 
We should start getting rid of these um, patches here quite nicely. Okay, so the other thing was to reverse what we're doing. So we've got lavish meals being created with human meat um, for giggles. But the suggestion was to actually make simple meals out of the, the human meat. So she gets a buff from that because it's human meat. The others will get a buff from having a fine meal, which is a good idea. Don't have a lot of meat left on... Well, 202, that's 20 meals, I suppose. I could flick this round, so that's... Probably a, let me let me just do this very quickly. So the fine meals are going to be made out of no, hang on, lavish meals are going to be made out of anything, but not human and not insect. Okay, simple meals. No, do you know what? I'll keep it the way the way it is. I don't have enough food to keep cooking lavish meals. I'm going to keep it the way it is for now. Human meat. It's less micromanagement. Okay. We do need some human raids, though. We want to stock up our human meat. 40. Is that the camp fuel we've got left? That's interesting. We seem to be using that. Maybe to refill the belt. Okay, now as it turns out, the cactus's uh, fertilization need is actually... Well, it's almost nothing. It'll grow in rich or poor soil. So I'm thinking what we should do is, rather than put the cactus in here, necessarily... We can put it anywhere. So I'm thinking just let's have cactus blobs growing all over the place. We can have it on the uh, you know on the fringes here. Or maybe maybe not in sand though. Maybe we'll get rid of that, move it up more. Alright, so So basically growing everywhere. Patches of cactus. Like so. So then if we say secure a cactus, where's it gone? There. And then we'll Oh, I see we can't copy. Okay. Uh, Squire cactus. Doink. Perfect. So thank you for whoever it was that pointed that out. It's very useful. Very useful indeed. I mean, I only put them in rich soil so they grow quicker, but as it turns out, they don't. So, hmm. Who knew? <laughs> so what I'll do now then is I will put something in here that's going to... Oops, hang on. Let me zoom in a little bit. That's going to need good soil. So things like, I don't know. Heel root, maybe. We're getting heel root out of the, out of the hydroponics. Uh, what can we put in here? There's some corn in here. Why not? Never have too much corn. I'm going to take cactus up here then, because it doesn't grow any faster in rich soil. So let's delete that. Mark those to be chopped. And then zone that up to be something different. Let's say, yeah, potatoes is good. Also, we chop that down. So, thank you for whoever that was. That's good to know. That cactus, they don't care. They'll grow anywhere. Well, I'm not comfortable about this door being not airlocked, so I'm going to sort that out for a start. Going at wall. Going at wall. Let's mine that, and then going at wall. There. And then door there. All right. Combat supplier. This should be interesting. If they're going to come round and deal with the uh, the mechs, are they going to come in through a door because they're friendly? I guess they will. They won't come around and go through the open gap. Hmm. That's interesting. That void bugs is not... Why would you not go out just that door? That's... Yeah, that's not clever, guys. Why would you not use the east door? I'm not comfortable about this. I'm going to have to go around. But if you want to go to the east, go through this door here, dudes. Come on. Anyway, I think we got away with it. Fennec Fox. It's not one of mine. Are they coming through the doors? Yes, they're not going to trigger the... Uh... Not going to trigger the bugs. Right, so let's go and talk to them. It's good to have some trade. Uh, who we got? Who's our best social person? So we've got a 10, we've got a 12, we have a 9. So it's going to be Hunter, Hunter the Wimp. But he's he's a bit of a smooth talker. Always reminds me of Face from the A-Team. Bit of a wimp, but he's he's got the gift of the gab. And nice hair probably as well. Okay, what do they want to take from us? Insect jelly? 
by all means crack on that it's worth loads of money oh, beautiful medicine we'll take those off your hands ambrosia mm, we got a lot of ambrosia let's sell half of it keep the, the money flowing in uh, you definitely take the go juice bionic eye no I'm keeping that uh, you can take the poor gladius though why not is there anything here that we could take from you? A steel longsword? Hmm. No, I can make those. That's fine. Plastil knife. Oh, hang on to that. Rubbishy, rubbishy, rubbishy. 72 can go. A master at Great Bay, $33. Wow. Smoke launcher, sniper rifle. Oh, sniper rifle. Yes. Def. Oh, <gasps> charge rifle. Oh, my word. Oh. Take that as well. Take them both. Oh, charge rifle. <laughs> now we're talking. Right, flak vest. 51% can go. The other stuff's going to get warm. 68% uh, recon armor. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Prestige recon helmet. Oh. Okay. Not sure I want to spare the money yet. It thinks you've only got 106 silver. Why is that? It's interesting. Smoke pop. That could be quite useful. And it's rechargeable. Yeah, we'll take that. That could be quite useful. Um, Recon armor. It's kind of wearing out, but I think that's fine. So we've actually got a lot of kit there. And we've still made a little bit of a profit, so that's good. We will take all of that good stuff. Hunter is carrying the smoke, smoke pop belt. Uh, Hunter is sewing area. No, he's not. Can you hold the medicine? Right. Which of these lucky people gets the charge rifle? Somebody with decent shooting, quite honestly. Let's have a look. So we've got shooting 8, 8, 10. So Jake, Jake's 10. Kaluin is 13. I'll give it to Kaluin. Triss has got a shooting of 9. She's one of our melee fighters, though. Who's hunting? Daniel. We'll give it to Kaluin. Kaluin the captain. He said what? Kaluin gets the... Right, let's drop your doodab in here. Did I just drop a hat? No, she was wearing that, wasn't she? Right, Kaluin, and then go and equip the charge rifle. Beautiful. Absolutely wonderful. I love charge rifles. Fantastic. Now, silver. In terms of silver, we've only got 446. I thought we had more than that. Zoom out a little bit. It's just not being... Mm, okay. All right. Oh, uh, yeah. Sniper rifle. So sniper rifle. I'm glad we got one. That will come in useful. Breaking up sieges and things. Slowly moving out all the kit into here, which is great. To free up some much needed space. In fact, I think we'll probably come down here as well. All right. How are we doing down here with the bugs? Daniel, Daniel. Okay. Concerns me. We need a raid. Come on, let's have a raid. Let's get a, some AI on AI action going on here. Got some hops growing, 83%. Beautiful. Can't help but feel this is a <laughs> major issue. A bug hive has reproduced itself. Oh, so the hives reproduce as well. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Alrighty. Now, probably need some food, some meat. Yeah, we've got lots of veg. Need more meat. So what are we going to hunt? Wow, okay. Hmm, nothing easy, basically. Uh, dromedaries, I suppose. How many dromedaries do we have? Do, 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 just the one. Oh, it doesn't fight back at all. Mm, sorry, man. Feels bad, but uh, it's got to be you, I'm afraid. Slick, consuming five mil. Then you come and clean some dirt and some blood. Always good stuff. 
Right, we still need metal, so I'm going to start um, queuing these up to be to get mined. Are you okay for wood? Okay. So what I'll also do is build a little bridge across here. Maybe across there. It'd be quicker to do it here, wouldn't it? Then they can cross and mine. Probably here. This sounds like a good idea. All right, let's get a raid. Come on, let's get a raid. Priscilla's fully healed. Just leaves Triss now. Triss, when you get up, can you have just a, a quick clean here? That'd be fab. Thank you very much. Okay, do it now. Slick, when you've done that, could you do all this? Clean it up. Lovely. Oh, another one. Hmm. Yeah, I thought this might start happening. Um, we may have to deal with these guys. Yeah. Okay. Um, you know, my dynamo machine. Yeah, no. Four tribes people. Hmm, interesting. Psycho Santi Lance. Tech print compact weaponry. Ooh. Okay. Interesting, but no, we can't have power knocked out. I think I made a mistake with these bugs. made a mistake and I'm just gonna have to live with it yeah this is not good this is not good we need a raid now <laughs> come on let's clear out areas uh, avoid bugs this is gonna be whoops hang on clear out area avoid bugs well it's been an interesting lesson for me anyway I think leaving bugs alone is not a good idea as tempting as it may be to Maybe allow them to attack incoming raids. This is not a great idea. If they punch through here, we've got a major problem as well. I am going to have to think about creative ways of killing these guys. It's going to have to involve grenades and molotovs. I think is what this boils down to. Grenades and molotovs. And a jetpack. Yeah. I think if we get Priscilla, whose jetpack is hopefully fully. Where is she? Consuming fire mill. Let's let her finish doing that. Right, Priscilla, let's just um, do this. Jetpack, five out of five. Okay, fine. So that is ready to go. She can throw Molotovs, set a few of them on fire. And then jetpack towards the waiting guys. Now, Jake doesn't have any psychic skills. We can't call any people for help. I'm inclined to just leave them until uh, we get a raid, but just not getting raids at the moment. So I'm getting quite concerned. Uh, are the animals in the same void bugs? No, they're not. Clear that area. Callers. Yeah, they're not coming in here anyway, so that's fine. I just don't want to go in here either. So let's, uh, let's clear that off. Yep, that's fine. I really want a raid. Can I provoke a raid somehow? I don't think I can, can I? Okay. Good grief. Good. Okay. 
Okay, more bug hives. Oh, they're making a mess of this. We're going to have to deal with this. Got a really bad feeling about this. It's just too many. We've got 11 mega spiders. They're not easy to take down. I think the next visitors we get, or the next anything we get, I'm going to provoke these guys so they come towards us and then we can lead them to the, the, the reinforcements. I don't think we can take them on on our own. At the moment, they're dormant, which is great. But all this mining they're doing, for free, mind you, it's very good of them, um, is not ideal. Concerns me considerably. Oh, the corn's being bought in, slowly. We plant more corn. <laughs> Too much corn! <laughs> I'm going to sell it. I need a bulk goods trader. How's research coming off, speaking of which? Yeah. Microelectronics, excellent, good. All right, come on, let's get some baddies. Come on, Cass, throw me a bone. <laughs> Not more bug hives. There's eight of them now. Oh, this is like a ticking time bomb, isn't it? Oh, good grief. I'll tell you what I need is a doomsday launcher. Or a rocket of some sort, which I just don't have. Uh, ranged. No, it's just all weapons. Melee, grenades. Oh boy. As long as they contain themselves sort of here, it's fine. It's when they start coming up into here is the big problem. They're insane. It's mining like gangbusters. Do you know I can ask for a visit? See, I can't, I can't call anybody. This is the problem. So they haven't got microelectronics and therefore don't have a... have a, um, the ability to contact any villagers. Hunter, what are you doing? Harvesting. Well, she haul. Haul would be better. There goes my beautiful wall. It's not leaving any resources behind either. It's a shame. Okay. I don't know how much longer I can leave this. Um. Alright. What I'm going to do, I'm going to leave it another day. And if nobody comes in the next day, I'm going to have to try and deal with these guys myself. Using grenades and molotovs. That might do the trick. <sighs> we shall see. We shall see. Grenades probably do the trick. They're quite nasty. Can't have them come through here. Look, they're down to down to this now. I don't do it at night. Now at night they sleep, but it doesn't give us any advantage. You're all going to wake up as soon as we hit them. Um, and these hives are reproducing at an exponential rate now. It's obsessed with that grave. All right, but wait till the morning. If only they came a bit later and this was like kind of enclosed, I could just lob in some fire and let them burn to death. But it's not going to be that easy. And now this is down to one square. No, we, we, we have to hit them in the morning. There's no two ways about it. Ah, Priscilla, when you wake up, um, Molotovs or grenades? Molotovs or grenades? Probably grenades, I think. That'll have more of an instant effect. Get to quit when she wakes up. Oh, we finished. 
Outstanding. That's amazing. Okay. Good stuff. Transport pods are next thing we want. We're going to do biofuel refining. Shame we can't make biofuel out of bodies, isn't it? Although we have got a lot of plant materials, so I'm not overly fussed about that. Lots of wood now, which is nice. Okay, with great reluctance. I really don't want to do this. I really don't want to do this. It's 14 mega spiders, 10 spellipedes, 10 mega scarabs. Ah, oh, good grief. I don't want to do this. Okay. Let's keep walling them in. We we need we need more people. This is gonna end really horribly, even with like one person throwing grenades, like you know, so what? Let's keep walling back and walling back. It's like this uh Oh, hello. What are you doing, Mr. Ostrich? Keep making walls. As soon as anybody comes, we're just going to lure them to them. I should have done it with that with those traders. It didn't occur to me that I could just lure the, the things in. That's my bad. There's enough of them, wasn't there? <laughs> Another ambrosia spell. <laughs> we'll leave that there for now. Honeycomb has given birth. Outstanding. Is that a little baby boomlo? Um, honeycomb. Yes. A little baby boomlo. Ah, cute. Come on, give me a raid. Please give me a raid. Please, please give me a raid. That would be so good. Did we shoot the dromedary? No, they're up there. Okay. Thought we did. Daniel. Okay. As long as it's north of the river, it's nice and safe. It's the money out of this plastic for me. That's very nice of them. I suppose, in a roundabout way. Ugh, oh, another bug hive. Nine of them. Oh, can we not build here because... So, I mean, they won't move them even if they are in the way of wall building. I'm assuming not. They certainly mine very quickly. So much for my beautiful killbots. Did you ever think you've made a mistake about something? <laughs> Oh, mummy. Have we got enough granite blocks left? Yeah, we do, don't we? Ah, they won't build there. Right, okay. Oh, hell. There's a space. Oh, sugar. That This might force the issue. Ugh. Uh, that's not good. That's not good. Right, guys. Well, I'm asking your opinion. What would you do if you were in my shoes? Would you wait until backup? Any backup? And then lure these guys out and just have the biggest fight in the world? Or would you just try and take them on? Give them with what I've got. The weapons I've got. Oh, no. That's not good. 
I don't think I have a lot of choice now. They breached this. Okay. I think I may have made my mind up, this little block here. I don't know what I can do about this now, other than just take these guys on. I can't call for help. And even if, even if I could... I mean, I've got microelectronics, so I could... I could build a little doodab. Maybe I can call for backup, but they're not going to send a big team. Let's get that in anyway. Is that considered ugly? I'm assuming not. Maybe we put it somewhere else. We don't have a lot of space somewhere else either, so let's get that in. Deconstructed. We don't need that there. Power conduit. Making the place look ugly. Oh, good grief. We're absolutely full. We don't need to store hay grass in here, though. And let's, uh, let's take that out. Raw resources, plant matter. Where's hay grass? Hay. We can stick that in here. Let's zone up for some hay. Uh, clear all. Hay. Preferred. So hopefully we'll start shifting the, clay, the hail. The hail? The hay out of here and put it over there all right well thanks for watching i'm sorry if i've been so obsessed with this but this is just this is bad this is really bad this could be the end of the colony if i don't handle it correctly i was hoping i got a raid by now and i would have kind of lured them in and i should have done it with these combat traders that was really stupid of me that may have been my last chance to uh to fix this But I don't know what I can do about this now. With the weapons I've got, I don't have any real special psychic powers. Trish doesn't even have a weapon because she dropped it. Let's give her that. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. Any opinions would be very welcome. What would you do with this situation? 16 mega spiders. 13 spellipedes. 11 mega scarabs. Oh boy. 30 odd of these things. They don't die quickly. Grenades will take a few of them out. Molotovs will eventually take a few of them out. Tell me, do Molotovs make them run around when they're on fire? So they don't carry they won't carry on attacking you. They'll just run around until the fire's out. Is that right? Because if so, that might buy me a little bit of breathing space. If I have two people throwing grenades and molotovs that leaves six people i don't know what would you do <laughs> let me know <laughs> be very keen to know next episode we have to deal with this one way or the other because this is a problem anyway i hope you enjoyed the episode you take care of yourself out there over the next 24 hours but for now this is bug put in the plug <laughs>